I'm here at the dentist and we're going to continue our series on the people of the border. I'm here with Diana, my dental hygienist. Um, Diana's going to tell us a little bit about growing up in El Paso. Hi, I'm Diana. I was actually um, born here in El Paso. My mom is from a small town in Mexico. So my mom was a permanent resident um, when she was actually studying to become a citizen. The neighborhood really helped her out. They would um, record these videotapes so she could learn more English um, and that way she would be able to pass her citizenship. Um, the entire neighborhood was there when she did and it was wonderful. I've got Gwen Polito here, uh, 18 years in McAllen and 19 years in El Paso. Um, first, but she's only 25. What do you want people to know about the border? Um, that it's a beautiful community. We all support each other. We love each other. Um, and it's not what everybody else thinks. At the request of Democrats, it will be a steel barrier rather than a concrete wall. So Dan, we, we did already go over that, but just briefly, uh, we've been trying to tell the story, some of our stories from living on the U.S.-Mexico border, in addition to the facts, the, the border being one of the safest places in the United States of America.